welcome back to my physics channel in this video I am going to discuss about uh, second part of the projectile motion let us consider projectile motion it is second part of projectile motion I am going to discuss students today see in the first part already you have learned if you want to see that <coughs> first part video you can have uh, projectile 1 projectile 1 at double six four double seven. if you can type in YouTube channel definitely you will be getting that uh, coming to the second part what we are going to do here is see guys here second part what we are going to do is we are going to for a time of ascend time of descend and time of flight and maximum might reached by the body and uh, horizontal range these all things we are going to discuss in this okay fine see let us focus on the students first of all see in the last class what we have discussed is any one object is projected with an angle of theta to the horizontal then what happens it will the path will be a parabola that we have discussed already so the maximum might is called as let me consider the ball is reached here this is what called as maximum might we will say h max students Coming to this initial position, this is called as point of projection already, we know that, we have noticed. And uh, what is the length covered? Horizontal displacement covered is called as horizontal range student, horizontal range. So these are the important things to be noticed here. One thing it is common to you all that horizontal component of velocity always constant, u cos theta, here also u cos theta wherever you may take that is u cos theta only students so here also you can take u cos theta only so there is no change in the horizontal velocity because there is no acceleration in horizontal that means there is no one is applying a force horizontally because earth is applying force vertically there will be vertical acceleration so let me go for the initial velocity of this box is u cos theta is horizontal and u sin theta is a vertical students. So once it is reaching the maximum height, the u sin theta will become 0 because it will not reach upside. But there is a horizontal component of velocity, what is that? u cos theta. See guys you know very well that horizontal velocity, horizontal component of velocity is always constant, it is not at all going to change why I told you already why because there is no acceleration acceleration is zero means velocity constant no that is why nowhere we observe change in the horizontal velocity but why vertical velocity we are changing we are getting change in vertical velocity why because vertically a force is applied on that which force gravitational force so due to that force gravitational acceleration we will be acting that is g okay fine so let me find how much height reached by the body. So what is the maximum height it will reach? That is what we are going to find students. So before that we should know what is time of ascender. Okay. The time taken to reach from ground level to maximum height is called as time of ascender. Right? Write down students. Time of ascender. We will say actually TA. Time of ascender. In a sense the time taken to reach for the body from the uh, floor I mean from the horizontal surface to the to the maximum height is called as time of ascent what is that time of ascent so it is ascending going upside no what is the time taken to reach this so in order to know that you can directly go for the first law of kinematics students what is first law of kinematics v is equals to u plus a t fine v means what final velocity u means what initial velocity a acceleration t time okay fine so what is the initial velocity here u sin theta is the initial vertical velocity again you may ask the question here what is that question you know sir why don't you take u cos theta u cos theta it is not changing see wherever you can see u cos theta only we are getting but we are getting change in u sin theta that is why the reason i took initially u sin theta only i have to apply here okay there is a change in vertical velocity only that is why whenever the formula is needed you have to go for vertical velocity only. fine 
So finally, what is the final velocity here? 0. 0 is the vertical velocity. Vertical velocity. Now 0 is equals to u means what? u sin theta plus a. a means what? Acceleration due to gravity students. See acceleration is increasing or decreasing. So minus a or plus a how to decide? So how can you decide it is plus or minus? Velocity is getting decreased, no, u sin theta. It is started from u sin theta, it becomes 0. So, velocity keep on decreasing. That is why minus g we have to consider here. Then t is nothing but time of ascent, t a. Now, I wanted to find the time of ascent here. Send this all the, the terms this side. g t a is equals to u sin theta. And the t a is equals to u sin theta divided by g. This is what called as time of ascent students. Similarly, we can use the same formula for time of descent. This is very important term in terminology. Time of ascent is always equals to time of descent students. So, how much time it is required to lag? That is also u sin theta by g only. Now, what about this is time of descent. Descending means it is getting coming downside. Okay, fine. Next step, time of flight. See, totally the body how long it is staying in the air is called as time of flight. Suppose for example, the sum of time of ascent plus time of descent is called as time of flight students. So, how can you do that? <coughs> so, time of ascent is u sin theta by g. Time of descent is also u sin theta by g. But time of flight is sum of these two. So, definitely u sin theta by g plus u sin theta by g. 2 u sin theta by g. This is what called as time of flight. So, once you know time of all, so time of ascent you know, time of descent you know, time of flight you know. Next, I will go for finding of maximum height students. How to find the maximum height? That is what we will see here. Listen students clearly. Okay, fine. Let me go for maximum height. So, how can you find maximum height here? See, initial velocity, write down, initial velocity is u sin theta, final velocity is 0, acceleration is minus g, yes or no, getting decreasing, no? We have to find the maximum height means displacement, displacement means s is equals to ut plus half a t square, this is a formula you are supposed to use. So, now s means maximum height, ut means, ut means what? u sin theta listen listen students u sin theta into t u sin theta into t t t means time of ascent time of ascent plus half a means what minus g t square means what time of ascent whole square this formula you can use students yes or no or else direct formula we have this is uh, difficult i mean it has some lengthy method I will give you the shortest method here. What is that? You can go for third law of kinematics. What is that? V square minus U square is equals to 2 A S. Fine. V means what? 0, 0 square minus U square means what? U sin theta whole square is equals to 2 means 2 only. A means minus G. S means H. So, directly we will get the answer in this. So, now u square, see 0 square means 0, u square sin squared theta is equals to 2 g h minus. So, this minus, this minus will be get cancelled. So, finally h is equals to u square sin square theta by 2 g. So, this will be the maximum height reached by the particle you can get here students. I think I hope you understand this. Fine. How can you find the maximum range? So, how can you find the horizontal range? So far, we have discussing about vertical only. Horizontal range, how can you find? Very simple. S is equal to same formula you can use. Okay. S is equal to same formula you can use. What is the formula here you need to know? E everywhere u cos theta, u cos theta. u cos theta is a constant velocity students. Constant velocity. If u cos theta is a constant velocity, I wanted to find the total distance, then what is the use, uh, what is the answer here? So, distance is equals to velocity into total time of flight, you can write like this. 
So distance means a range, a range you can write here, range is equals to, V means what students, velocity is always u cos theta, u cos theta, u cos theta. So you can write u cos theta here. Into time of flight already you know, time of flight, time of ascent plus time of descent, total time. So what is the time taken to complete this journey, it is called as time of flight. That is 2u sin theta divided by g students. So now you can multiply this u into u, u square into 2 sin theta cos theta divided by g. You know according to trigonometry, 2 sin theta cos theta is nothing but sin 2 theta. So you can use the formula here finally, range is equals to u square sin 2 theta divided sin 2 theta ma, sin 2 theta by divided by g. So this is what a range which is covered by the projected body. I think I hope all the formulas are clear for you students. So once again I will recap all the formulas then we will go for the numericals okay, C one by one. You can take a screenshot and you can learn this all formulas and derivation students. So what are the formulas we have learnt up to here? First formula time of ascent is equals to time of descent is equals to u sin theta divided by g. This is the first formula student. Second formula time of flight is equals to time of ascent plus time of descent. So total time that is 2 u sin theta by g. This is second formula students. Third formula maximum it is equals to u square sin squared theta by 2 g. This is third formula. Okay. And fourth formula students range is equals to u square sin 2 theta divided by g. So these are the four formulas we have to remember here and remaining things we will discuss in the next session. Thank you.